Flowers Gigantius nymphs, the female is getting a sugary little treat there from beneath the male's wings. A little bribe by him. And now he thinks he's going to mate with her, touching the tips of their abdomens to one another. Breeding. Flavorous giganteus, giant cave roaches. The males are being driven crazy by the females in the tank at the moment. Females very receptive right now. The other males are definitely taking an interest in her receptiveness. Things have calmed down a little bit now because two are actively mating. This one male seems to want to interrupt the process though. There he goes, he headbutt the two of them where they are connected. He's trying to separate them. You see him preparing to lift his own wings to offer her the same sugary treat, but she's already been there, done that. He's not going to be interested in what he has to offer. And another male tries to squeeze in. This is the largest, at least the longest, roach in the pet hobby. Certain species, like wide-horn hissers, these ones over here are actually heavier, larger in the sense of weight than these giant cave roaches. Peppered roaches, Archimandrita tessellata, can also be more massive. Deathhead's cockroaches, which are also in this same genus, Blabberus, you can see almost a face there on the pronotum of the roach, that black marking with the orange spots on it. Roaches are great colony pets, you know, mantises and tarantulas, scorpions, vinegaroons, all kinds of spiders. You can't keep them communally like this. And one of the underappreciated things about pet roaches is the colony behaviors that they display in their tanks. Take a peek over here at a nymph. These are all nymphs, immatures. They look much like trilobites. You can see wing buds there on that one. And that there, you see some little babies. Those are first instars. When they are first born, they are white. They don't hatch out of egg cases. They come directly out of the female. Well, they do have egg cases inside the female, but she doesn't deposit them externally like some roaches that drop egg cases like the more familiar domino roaches. Here's her breeding pair right here. Still connected. A little less bothered now that I sort of moved that bit of egg crate here in the container.